We need to tell you that this morning we got our weekly jobless claims number out. It was not a pretty one. It hit a 14-month high. This is a number you actually want to see go lower. But jobless claims hit a 14-month high, which leaves a lot of people to question whether there's a real problem in the labor market. But one man has a solution now because you know what you would expect? You would expect that every time a big CEO is going to hire, they're going to be extremely picky about hiring if the hiring picture isn't so strong. Well, from helping the Giants win a Super Bowl title to now helping veterans find employment, he's got a unique solution to helping America's finest, former New York Giants and current president of Academy Securities, Phil McConkey, along with the reports of his demise, greatly exaggerated, <laughs> Charlie Gasparino, you're alive, <laughs> you're not dead. Yes, Who said you were dead? There's a, okay, just to recap here, there was an email that was sent out from, this, uh, from, a, from a research shop that I've gone to the distant shores. Or something. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. And um, I'm getting all these calls. At least people... Okay, are... I, I can tell everybody he has a By pulse. The way, he th has a pulse. This occurred while I was on the He's treadmill, alive. just so you know. But, it, it, but the funny thing is, there are a few people that actually like me. I have a okay. couple people actually cared. So well, Phil McConkie not... likes you and he <laughs> loves us. Charlie. This is uh, great. Phil, I, look, uh, uh, people who are hiring now are so nervous. They don't want to pay mm. benefits. They, and if they're going to bring somebody in, they want to make sure that person is spectacular. Right. You've got people who are spectacular right now. We've got a lot of people that are incredibly spectacular. And I'm talking about the transitioning military veteran. When you think about the military, our military today, and all these young people, most of them that are making this transition join the military after we were attacked on 9-11, after the war started in Afghanistan, after the war started in Iraq. I joined the military after a war ended. I would like to think I'd be as brave as these young people to have done that. But they have, they have qualities, and they take the best of the right. military culture, what they've done in the military, to corporate America and the private sector. I love, I love your firm, and I love the, the, what you guys are trying to do. But here's the sort of thing that, uh, that, uh, that, that annoys me, angers me. Because um, I know some people at the major Wall Street firms that want to do some reach out to, to the military. The military itself, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, my dad was a Marine. Those guys, the, the major military does not do a good job preparing these guys for, and, and women for the next step. I, why, why not? I mean, what's going on? There? I'm not sure it's really incumbent upon them to help the, that transition. Come on, I man. know that there are, you know, a lot of injured soldiers that come out and sailors and airmen, and they, 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 they do a nice job. Listen, there's problems with the VA. That right. needs to be fixed. Right. We need to get better. But that transition, I think the private sector is doing a lot here's better why, job. Here's why, Phil, I know a lot of guys in the Marines that, you know, led troops. They, they're, they're team builders. These guys are perfect people for corporate America. Absolutely. They don't know how to translate that. I was talking to them. I had to translate that for them. There wasn't like, the, the, I mean, you would think that there would be a month well, look, that Phil, they kind of help you translate your, your skills. I would, I would absolutely say yeah. that, that if somebody brings in a vet, maybe there is a little bit of finessing, but that's with anybody where you would actually need somebody to train a little bit to get the skills up and running but talk about the benefits they are highly motivated right. usually people have been trained in the military only need to be told something once mm -hmm. to get it right right when you talk about an organization a company Fox Fox business Fox News you want high quality people in the military when we talk about bringing the best of the military culture to our company Academy securities and and to our customers you're talking about honesty, integrity, loyalty. Oh, I agree. Service, something called service. It'd be, it'd be nice oh. if the if the armed services gave these kids just a month on how to translate their bit, military a schools bit of a leg up. to the to the uh, private Phil, sector. Phil, it's great to have you. Thank you so much. We Thank you so it. much. And what I want to do to you guys, because I know what great advocates you are of the military, I want to give you something when we finish up here. Okay. But you but tell I, me. Okay. Uh, is it the ring? I want the Super Bowl ring. You want the Super Bowl ring? <laughs> Liz, you can take that also. I'll I give you the, the ring oh, and the I challenge the ring coin. And the thing. Oh, I love so it. What's, Thank what's, you so what's much. What's really special about this? In the military, yeah. different units have their own individual coins. I see that. On yeah. one side, we've got the all the branches of the service. On the okay. other side is the pre-9/11 skyline of New York City. Okay. And That's it's important thing. to us because most of our teammates join the military I, I, because that will, was altered. We will we, definitely, we, we definitely honor But that. How, how do you like this pinky ring? Okay. You look good. <laughs> Super Bowl pick. You See, look he's good. Alive. He's hey, alive and kicking. Hey, Great hey. to have you. Phil yes, McConkie, thank, thank you so much. And Charlie, thank thanks. you for this. This means a lot. Charlie, always a pleasure. Yes. Alive and kicking.